Hello, friends and family. I'm trying my tripod is broken, so bear with me. I'm trying to get it up here. There's Goliath. Thread up haul. Okay, and I ought to be able to do this haul fairly easy. Uh, what I'm going to show right now is the red skirt. Uh, it was thirty six dollars at uh, their estimated price. I paid eleven ninety nine. And I got this red skirt. Comes, it's mid, uh, almost mid calf. It does have pockets. I love that. And I found out I think I've been standing too far away from the cap camera for you guys to hear me or even really see too well. But it has nice deep side pockets. It has the um, pleats. It's a nice fabric, and it is lined, and it has a little bit of an elastic on the sides for some extra give, you know, if you uh, go to a holiday dinner and eat too much. Yeah, I've got actually about two inches on this, and I've got this over a dress but it's very comfortable it zips up and buttons in the back so I was pretty happy with this and I will take it off and show it to you in more detail but um, I'm just trying to show real quick and I guess I should have unbuttoned this one I um, I wore this particular sweater it's ready to be put away, but I was waiting for this red skirt uh, to do this haul because it was the last, this is the last of this month's, uh, not this month's, last month's purchases from ThreadUp. Um, they went up like a B on their prices, um, and I'm not really thrilled about that so I want to get uh, as I can the pieces I want in and be done with them because if they're going to be like that they got to remember this is second hand clothing my problem I can't get out I've got clothespin markers on my sleeves but too bad because I did worse this one Guys, I hope you guys are up here where you can save me. Okay. Really got to buy a new tripod. Uh, this Argyle sweater. I love Argyle. And it's really nice. It's in brown. And then it's got like the blue and green and brown and some beige uh, striping on it. I, I liked it. So I picked this up. Its original price was $60. I would never pay that. I got it for $16.99. So it fits pretty good. I will probably, I am short armed, so I probably have to roll up the sleeve on it one time. But I thought it was a pretty sweater. And I like it. You could wear it buttoned up if you wanted to, or open, or however. But I really did like this this sweater, so I picked this one up. I know I figured out how to use the paws, but I think I can do all this without going through all that um, changes. And I'll show you guys more in detail the uh, the items. And then this made it easy enough. I got this brown dress for $9.99. And they say it was $24 originally. Uh, this is not part of the dress. Um, I'm going to have to get a uh, brooch for this. I could wear it like this, but then it doesn't, to me, does it fit um, 
my look I'm going for. So I'll end up getting a little brooch and putting it on up here. It has the little ties, the little pee holes, this part here. Uh, two things I don't like about it. One is that it's uh, not together enough for me up here, which I, I can fix that simply. The other thing is, is the slip. I don't want to go too high. The slip is short and it's kind of, what would I want to call it? I think it's supposed to help your figure. It's, I don't like the way it fills. I might cut it out, just the slip part, and use my own slip. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I like the dress. I picked this up to go into my brown collection um, as a house, a dress just for wearing around the house. Because uh, I usually like to get one dress that's dress up in the color that I'm working with and one that can be a house dress. So it's not too bad, you know, and for 10 bucks, not too bad at all. And then the other piece I got was this army green sweater and I paid $10.99 they say it was 30 bucks because someone said they're not they see got to see me filming in this when I did the Missé and yeah when I did the Missé but I need the wash these pieces but this will end up being a house dress because I don't have Dress is really too much for house. Mostly what I got is either rockabilly or, you know, nicer. And uh, so I'm trying to pick up a few house dresses. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else that shops at ThreadUp has noticed those prices go up on some things. Not everything, but it's like, I threw a lot of shit out of my cart. It's like, I don't think so. You know, I'm just not willing to pay that much money. I'm just not willing to do it. So this is a nice army green. I have to put the sleeves up for me. And then you can wear it like this or button it up. I'm just doing a quick showing of this. Tie it, you know, just to give you guys an idea. Because, you know, I got a comment that I've never seen in this stuff. I love my nightgowns. What can I say? You know? <laughs> so it's got a belt, a belt tie. They're nice sweaters for, for the money, you know. They're, um, I paid a little more for the Argyle because I really wanted that one. There was another one that I wanted, which was the same brand, same style, different color. And they went up. This one I said I paid, what, $16.99? They went up to 30 some bucks for the other one. So I'm like, I got this one, and I wanted both, but I'm not paying. I'm just not paying that kind of money, guys. That's just ridiculous for uh, used, uh, used clothing. Ugh. Bear with me a minute, because I want to show you guys, actually, the clothing up close like I normally do. I'm going to make sure this camera's turned because I am going to switch dresses. I'm not trying to do a peep show.
I got this red dress on. I, uh, this is, I've already hauled. Of course, I still have my thing. I'm going to have to take this up on the shoulders just a little bit, and it should fit okay besides maybe trying to figure out a little bit to take it in. I think I've lost a tiny bit of weight, you know, since the summertime is here. But this is not part of the haul. <sighs> okay. I sure hope you guys see what I was trying to show you. Okay. Now this is the brown dress. It has the tag on it. Uh... I like the dress. Uh, that's an easy fit, but this slip is just, now it is stretchy, but it's very, it's almost like a, um, not, not as stiff as a girdle, but it's, yeah, and it's too short. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it's coming it feels when I'm wearing it very awkward. It feels like it's coming like to here, you know. And for a lady my age, it better damn well come down to here. So uh, I might tr cut the sli uh, slip out, which would be easy enough, and wear one of my own slips with it. But I like it for just a, a house dress, you know, an everyday. An everyday house dress so and this is by Avon so not too bad that's got a decent little flare but like I say for house dress I don't care I just what and I thought it kind of would fit into that uh, look for that time um, that time period so in any of who then this one, the army green one with the belt, I've already told you prices. This is from Carol Rose Women. Carol Rose Women. And I like this. I like the fabric. It's not too heavy. Um, I love the color. This is going to go with my green wardrobe. Uh, it does have on each side a little bit of a slit give over the hips which I'm kind of narrow this way not this way <laughs> so at any rate and then it buttons up so I thought this was a lovely sweater and um, I stamped it up Yeah, I really want to get um, done with this wardrobe stuff and done with these guys, to be quite honest. The Argal. I just love Argal. So I did pay a little bit more for this, but this really only went up about a dollar or two. But the other one was the exact brand. They came out at the same time. It was just ivory with, you know, and it's like, I would have loved to have brought it, but I'm not paying that much money for it. It was twice the price as this one. And like I say, it's not worth it. Even some of these prices are pushing it, but I can't get out. But I love it. It's brown. Um, and I love the um, the colors in it. So I'm very, very happy with this sweater. And then, of course, the skirt. It has a, um, that's their tag. All of this was, um, not new with tags. Has a zipper and the button. Um, who is this by? It has pockets, which I showed you. It has a nice lining for the, uh, the slip part, which I'm very happy with. Who is this by? That's not telling me anything. Maybe it's on the inside here. Sometimes they... 
and it has the little on the side to see it has some gathering so you get a little extra give there I think is this wool or part wool no rayon no polyester rayon and then the lining is nylon um, does have a slit in the back I didn't notice that to tell you I'm trying to see who in heck this is by it almost feels like wool it's put together good the the slip is attached with attachments to the the skirt I think it may have been done at K when I was on the um, you know the website that seems to sound like yeah, I'm not seeing I'm sure there's a label in here somewhere but I think it was Donna K yeah I can't I'm not seeing it was the brand I think on the skirt on the skirt so I'm very happy with this I guess they call this what a pencil skirt or something like that so yeah and it's in red so that's it that's everything from my thread up I am trying to get finished with them as I say I did place a nice order because of the 20% off but I just want to get it down there enough to where I can break away from them um, finish up my wardrobe I went a little bit more extensive on it than I planned but what can I say all right I did what I did please like share and subscribe uh, if you're new to thread up it's a uh, second hand and or consignment so they have some consignment pieces which are the more expensive pieces you know and then they have the the thrift the second hand which I think almost everything I get is thrift Pretty much. All right, later.